How do we sketch nets of solids? When sketching or drawing nets of solids, it should be remembered that the net when folded should give the original solid. Consequently, for regular solids with straight edges, the nets must be drawn or sketched using a roller and the lengths should be exact measurements or drawn to scale and the scale must be stated. In addition, the corresponding lengths and when we talk about corresponding lengths, these are sides that coincide with the when the net is folded to the original solid must be equal. We'll demonstrate that in a short while. The labeling of the net must also match the original solid as illustrated in the figure below. So in the figure that follows, in the figure that follows, we have a solid. And this solid is labeled A, B, C, D, E, F. When the solid is opened up along its edges, we get the figure alongside the solid, and that is its net. So we need to label the net of this solid to coincide with the labeling of the original solid. So we have point A at the base of the solid, point B also at the base of the solid, point C at the base of the solid, and point D at the base of the solid. Then we have D to point E and A to point F. D E corresponds to the length indicator, so this will also be point E. Similarly, A F corresponds to this side. And therefore, this shall also be point F. And then from E, E joins to point C, and F joins to point B. So when this net is folded back, we get the original figure. We can do the same for the second example. So in the second example, we have pentagonal cross-section. So we need to label the pentagonal cross-section so that we have A, B, C, D, and E. We also have A to J. 
B to I. Then we have this would be C. C connects to H. A connects to E on the other side. J connects to F. F connects to G. G connects to D and D connects to C. C connects to H. So G will connect to H. Then this shall be I and this shall be J. So we have labeled our solid, the net of our solid, so that when it is folded back, it gives us the original figure.